or Twitter or YouTube, whatever it is that you're on. It is, I don't know what time it is. It's about seven o'clock on, what's today? Wednesday. Just got back from taking my son from uh, to swim practice. I'm going to record this vlog before I get inside. Hey man, I've been reflecting on that word faithful, or that word faith, and um, you know, there's a fallacy that's going around that people seem to think that like all God has been looking for, all humanity is for people to just go and say that they believe in him and that's it. Um, God was just looking for that moment to make a decision and you know, there, here's the thing about falsehood or fallacy is that a lot of times there's, there's a little bit of truth to that, but if you take it too far, it becomes a lie. And the, the truth is, is that God has always desired for us to make a decision to, to believe in him, but that belief was supposed to turn into doing something with it. Um, you know, the Bible says that faith without actions is dead. And, um, there's such a balance there because people say, well, if you do, if you do it, then you, excuse me, people say, if you have, uh, if you say that you have to have works to have faith, then it's a works based faith. And that's not the case at all. It's the difference between, um, saying what you believe and then ha having what you say you believe be reflected in your life. And it's like that in everything, man. If you say that you're a person that values something, but your life doesn't reflect that, then you really don't value it. If you say, man, I value health and fitness, but you never work out, or I value fiscal responsibility and your finances are in shambles, or I value relationships, but you hurt people in them all the time. You just don't. And so the same thing is, is with, with your faith is that if, if your faith doesn't translate into, into actions, the Bible says that your faith is dead. Um, if you want to be faith, if you want to have faith then that means you're faithful, you have to go and do something with it. And so my encouragement, my encouragement for you today is this man, um, do something to reflect, to have your life reflect what is coming out of your mouth, whatever it may be. Um, if you, if you say that you're a, a faithful person or that you have faith and allow that to translate into something in your life, make a, make a, make a decision to do the right thing or, uh, do a faithful act, pray, read your Bible, uh, do an act of service for somebody. If you say that you value fitness, go for a walk, just walk down to the end of your block and back, get down on the floor and do a sit up. Some of you old people are like, I didn't get off the floor. Um, if you say you value, value cleanliness, clean something. Um, all that to say, man, let your mouth line up with your actions. Your actions line up with your mouth. Don't be a person that just does lip service. So there you have it, man. Bless you guys. Love you. Have a good day. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bless you. Bye.